Well, what are you going to do about this stock? I'm keeping it. I'm going down with the ship. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Stock Market Show. This is your host, Shades. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's talk about RGT, our Rigetti Computing here. Okay, we hit, we almost hit that $20 target. I remember telling you guys, hey, watch out, we could go to 20. I've seen this with the computing stocks and the AI stocks. They love to go to 20 for some reason. They're just, they're just a magnet. We hit 1935. We're coming on down. Is the hype over? That's the real question. Is the hype over? We know this is moving on hype. Let's not pretend otherwise. Let's not pretend otherwise. This is moving on hype. This is moving on hype. There are no quantum computing machines anywhere. There's no... It's not ubiquitous. You know, AI isn't even around yet. Where, where's the humanoid robots? They're not around yet. We know that all of this is moving in, in, in anticipation of a future where RGTI is the provider of those, of those quantum, quantum computing chips. Full stack quantum computing services serves enterprise government and research clients. We know who their partners are. We know who they're working for. When it comes to a long-term investment... RGTI, as I showed you yesterday, is one of the best stocks out there. I don't know why my chart isn't showing. I guess it's because my internet is taking a dump. But here's what we do know. We do know that quantum computing chips are being hyped right now because of the groundbreaking progress that is being made in this space. And non-technical people, non-technical people... They think it's the next, next big thing, which it is. I do believe it's the next big thing. As long as it happens, it is the next big thing. So the question is, what do you invest in? I showed you guys yesterday, the one to invest in is the one with the partnerships. And the cash money and the assets to stay afloat without having to destroy its shareholders. We know that they have confirmed delivery of their new product to Amazon and Microsoft in Q1 2025. Because we know they work with Amazon and Azure. And here's the best part. If they're set to deliver a new product to Amazon and Microsoft, that means they're buying. That means those companies have done their due diligence. And it's possible that many others will follow. And the best part about quantum computing right now is the technology is still decades away. But we are already seeing a lot of financial gain just from hype alone. This is just the beginning of the cycles. AI gets, gets all the hype. Then quantum computing gets all the hype. Then everything dies down. We get a bunch of red days. And then eventually the cycle repeats. People get excited about... There's a new breakthrough in quantum computing or AI. And the cycle repeats. There will be another pump on AI and quantum computing stocks. That's just how it is. It goes in cycles. If you guys have been around in the market long enough, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So if you're buying stocks like RGTI right now, you're placing a bet that quantum computing, specifically RGTI, will not only work with Microsoft and Amazon, but other big companies will follow, which is going to be money in the bank for RGTI, which we, we've already seen the revenues. We, I showed you yesterday, they got a lot of money, which is important for research and development. Do not be surprised, though, if this one continues above 20. Let me see if I can zoom out on the charts here. My chart is... For some reason, there it is. There's the chart. So this one is showing the most strength out of all the quantum computing stocks. Out of all the quantum computing stocks on my watch list, IonQ, someone mentioned IonQ yesterday. They said, oh, this one's better. I'll take a look at it later. But it's red. You got D-Wave, QBTS, QBT, red, red. A lot of red. In fact, I think, yeah, look at that. Just a lot of blood. But guess what? 
a lot of blood, what you want to look at, who is showing the most strength. And right now, RGTI, out of the quantum computing stocks on my watch list, the one that has the better assets to liabilities ratio, the one that has the revenues, the one that has all these partnerships, can you believe that it's the one that's holding up very well? Do not be surprised if this breaks out again. I would watch for that breakout above 20. If we break 20, we'll go to 25. I've seen this with the AI stocks and the quantum computing stocks. They can break out and go to 25. This one went to 27. Now the difference between QUBT and RGTI is, as I mentioned yesterday in yesterday's video, QUBT doesn't seem, seem they kind of don't even have revenue. Like, wh what are their products? They kind of don't have, they don't have much of anything to show. They're, they don't really have any partnerships compared to the ones that RGTI has. So QUBT for RGTI, I don't think anyone should be surprised with the strength it's showing. Because it's one of the best ones out there, and I see that. And I'm sure there are big players who also see that as well. Because you're seeing a lot of strength here in a market that's red. Even in video right now is tanking. So what I'm telling you right now is watch for that breakout above 20. I'll be watching for it. I'm going to show you my strategy real quick. Because uh, someone in my Discord bought RGTI just blindly. Like they just threw money at it and hoped. And I'm just like, no, 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 that's not what you do. You got to have a strategy. You got to go in with a strategy. Don't just throw money at it and hope it goes to the moon. You got to have a strategy. So the strategy that I use is I use the three, th three minute time frame. I use the MACD with the numbers, with the parameter numbers of 12, 26, and 4. Then when the crossover happens on the MACD, you buy in. And you set a stop loss on the candle that you bought in at the bottom. So, for example, I was not awake, unfortunately. I was asleep, you know, holidays, drink a lot. So I'm still feeling kind of off. But that aside, the strategy here is to buy when the MACD crosses over. It crosses over. Let's assume you bought the very top of this candle. We're not going to assume you bought the bottom of the candle. Let's assume worst case scenario, you bought the very top here at 1769. You set your stop loss at the bottom of the candle and you ride it up. And as it goes up in your favor, if it does go up in your favor, you move your stop loss to the next candle underneath and you keep rinse and repeating until you get taken out, which you would have gotten taken out right here. So you would have gotten taken out right here. So you keep moving up your stop to the bottom of the candle as they continue printing. If it goes in your favor, you will make, make money. You would have made money here. You would have made, what, a dollar per share almost. It's about capturing a portion of that trend. Now, if it, if it, if it had exploded, you would have made a lot more than this. Absolutely, you would have made a lot more money than this. But this was just a little move here. And then, uh, yeah, then it just kind of started going sideways. But the fact that it's going sideways and not trending to the downside, the fact that it's showing this strength, uh, keep an eye on it for another move to 20 plus. Because this one's the best one out of all the quantum computing stocks. So that's the strategy. Uh, the strategy, again, it's about capturing a small portion of that trend on the smaller time frames. Now, Shades, what, what, I know some of you are going to say, Shades, what happens if uh, if it goes against me? What if I, you know, I buy in, set a stop loss, and it, and it comes down and destroys me and takes me out? Well, you just shrug and you take the loss. That's it. You shrug. When you make money, you shrug and go, hey, I made money. If you take the loss, you shrug and go, well, at least I'm not going to hold a big bag all the way down because you never know when the hype's going to end. We know it's moving on hype. We know that. Again, it's about capturing a portion of the profits. Now, as, as a long-term investor, you, you don't care about none of this. This doesn't mean anything to you. As a long-term investor, just continue to average in if you believe that RGTI is going to be the next NVIDIA. Just continue to average. Because that's a different strategy, right? You're holding long-term. You believe in quantum computing so much that you're willing to buy right now, even if it's very speculative. But we know that AI is the future. We know that quantum computing is the future. So you're still early if you're an investor. You're still very early. So take advantage, in my opinion. Uh, the last thing I want to say is, you know, we get these, we get these hype cycles with AI... And quantum computing, they die off. The stock starts, you know, it, everything's going to start tanking 10, 20% on it every day. And people are going to get destroyed. To avoid getting destroyed, that's why you have this kind of strategy. 
If it pumps, you make your money. If it dumps, you take the loss and you move on. And if you're buying up here, you should not be buying with a big position. That's not what you do. Not in this channel. I don't do that. I don't buy big positions at the top or anywhere near uh, after a huge run. The best time to buy a big position was down here when it was going sideways at 72. <laughs> if you're going to chase up here a breakout to potentially 25, you want to go in with smaller positions and have a strategy like the one I showed you. That's my strategy. Obviously, everyone's different. But I'm just showing you what I like to do. To take advantage of this volatility and the hype. But the hype will eventually die down. Okay? So I just don't want you guys to get destroyed. I don't want you to get destroyed. That's why I'm telling you all this and showing you the strategy. And it's not complex either. It's not a complex strategy. It just requires discipline and patience, which is unfortunately something a lot of people don't have. Another thing I want to talk about is insiders are selling. They're selling here at what looks like it, it might be a top. We'll see what happens. I'm not saying it is a top, but it might be. Rigetti Computing's former officer, Dennis Richard, plans to sell 250,000 shares of common stock. Over the past three months, Richard has sold a total of 630,000 shares. Of course, who, who's gonna, who wouldn't take profits, right? The planned sale continues the trend of in significant insider selling at Rigetti Computing. So keep it, yeah, uh, th they're selling, they're selling, which means they believe like, hey, I, this one's, this one's really gone up huge. Let me take the profits off the table and uh, we'll see what happens moving forward. Let's see. Let me zoom in here on the volume. I'm curious about the volume, increased volume here compared to yesterday. Let's see what happens. Tomorrow's going to, uh, not tomorrow. Monday's going to be interesting. Monday's going to be interesting because I'm going to look, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why Monday's going to be interesting. Nvidia, it's an it's an AI play. It's an AI play. It's it's all technology, right? It has failed to create a new high since November seventh. Do you do you understand what I'm saying to you? Nvidia is having a hard time creating a new high. We switch over to the monthly. And the last time NVIDIA was struggling like this, we got a cross under on the MACD on the monthly chart. And that that to the bear market of 2022, if you guys were around there, if you guys were around back then, then you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys remember that bear market of 2022, right? I was there too. I was like, whoa, NVIDIA is getting cheaper. Everything's bleeding. There was a lot of fear in the markets. Here's the bull run though. Here's the bear market. Look at all these candles with all these wicks. And look at this look at this candle here. Very toppy. Very toppy candle. Now, there's this isn't confirmation of a bear market. What I am saying is be on the lookout for that cross under. Cuz if we get that cross under, that's confirmation of a bear market. And we've been running hot for a while. And it's looking toppy. And when things, th there's all kinds of signs right now in the market of a potential top and we may be entering a bear market in the future. This is why I'm saying be very careful moving forward. Keep an eye on NVIDIA on the monthly chart. If this one, when NVIDIA is failing to create higher highs and higher lows after a huge run from $10 to 150 or if you guys were there back then from $150 to 1300 before the forward stock split, then you know like there, these are some bad signs here of a top and a potential entry into a bear market. And it's not confirmed yet, but the fact that you see a stock like this after such a huge, huge run start struggling to create a new high, that does not bode well for the rest of the market as well. So it's something to keep an eye on. But, again, for Rigetti, if you believe it's the next NVIDIA, not a bad idea to be a long-term investor. But I would wait for a bear market and see if uh, we can get it cheaper. Because the hype's going to die and we're going to get some huge red candles into wherever it decides to find support. So so there's. I'm just telling you the point of view of long-term so I'm just telling you the long-term point of view and the trader's point of view, whether it's day trading or swing trading. Right now, I would say if it does break 20, get in, take advantage of the pump. But 
I wouldn't want to start investing up here. I would wait to for it to come down nice and cheap. If you guys have been in a bear market before, you know how cheap stocks can get. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.